Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a really good day today. I finally am having a decent day here. Today what I want to explain is render stats CSP, which is found on your app bar in the game. And what this can do to show you what you need to change and what you don't need to change in the game. Now what you'll notice here is we have a graph at the top which shows your CPU and your GPU frame time overall together on the graph. So orange is GPU, blue is CPU. And what you have on the bottom here is a bunch of settings that do match the content manager settings. For example, extra effects, you can hover that and you can see 2.6 milliseconds GPU, 1 millisecond CPU. I can go to dynamic shadows, I can see 1 millisecond GPU, 0 0.5 CPU. Now, if you get 140 frames per second and you get these awkward little lag spikes, it's probably something to do with this. You can also see the draw calls, the triangles, extra shadows, and lights. So what we're going to do here is I am simply going to exit this game right now. And I am going to go to settings. And I should be on some really high settings right now. Overkill spec. This is available in my um, Discord. But what we're going to do is we're just going to switch to a high spec build. And we're going to go to custom shaders patch. We're going to extra effects. And we're going to take it off. And I'm also, oh sorry, I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to change this to something like full max. And I'm going to take off extra effects. I'm going to take off lighting effects I'm gonna take off most of the particle effects stuff and what we're going to do here is just by doing this I am going to show you guys how much rendering speed time that you can actually save which is absolutely insane and you're about to see this happen right in front of your eyes here I'm just taking off a few more things and I'm also going to go to video and take off the mirrors simply because some people play in uh, third person and you don't really need mirrors in third person. So we're going to do all of that and go to one face per frame for rendering. And I'm just going to load right back into my server. And what we're going to see here now is how much that rendering time improved. Even though we're in pits, it's a really bad spot to test we're still going to notice that it's not going to get anywhere near as high as it was. Now, for all the haters out there, you might be watching this video going, man, your settings suck. Those settings should never be on. Why do you have this? Why do you have that? It's for knowledge, my guy. It's to show everybody out here that it's not about what you got. It's about how you set it up and to keep everybody gaming on this game without getting told they just need to go buy a $3,000 computer to play Seto. It's not the case, man. I was playing this game on a $600 PC build. Anybody can do it. You just got to know how. So if you watch this video and you can join this with my CPU optimization, my content manager optimization stuff, my 90 plus FPS guide video, all of that stuff is going to work in conjunction with this. And if you do everything, you will really notice a big difference. But now let's notice render stats CSP. Let's see what it happened in here. Sorry, I can't read right now. Okay, there we go. So look at this. Look what happened. I'm in the same spot. I'm in pits, the same spot with the same weird camera angle going on. And my rendering speed is literally 75% better. So you just watched me increase my FPS to my limiter. In fact, it's actually up to 250 FPS now with those settings off. And you watched me improve my rendering speed by about 70%. And how long did this take, guys? This took five minutes. Stay gaming, everybody. Have a great day. I hope this improves a lot of your guys' game. I know it will. Take care, everybody. And hopefully I'll see you out on the streets.